Brazen Athletics, happy Saturday. Uh, we are here to talk about our Saturday workout. Should be a little bit of a doozy. We have two parts to this, nice long AMRAP, and then a five minutes for tolerance. So kind of working on some sprint work and then clearance work out. So this first part is a 20 minute AMRAP. As you can see, there's a little asterisk, pay attention to that. But this 20 minute AMRAP starts with five head cutter swings, maybe a new movement for some of you. We may have done this once or twice before. 10 stagger stance deadlifts. You guys should be pro at these. And 20 Kozak squats. But the kicker is every four minutes, you perform 10 sit-ups. So what that's going to do is it's going to break this up a little bit. Um, this is a workout that you might start to get a little bit out of breath with. But every four minutes, you have those 10 sit-ups to bring your heart rate under control. And to move into your next part of that workout. So what I would recommend, and if you're in my class on Saturday, we're actually going to set a timer so that it beeps every four, four minutes. Louie wants to join the workout. So uh, it's going to beep every four minutes. That way we'll keep us on track with these sit-ups. Then the second part is five minutes for tolerance. So with this tolerance workout, this first part, 12 seconds of kettlebell or dumbbell full cleans, that's where I really want you to push it and sprint. And then we move into these 48 seconds of Romanian deadlifts. Uh, that's where you'll take it back, de-throttle a little bit, and then move through these Romanian deadlifts. So starting with these head cutter swings, they're exactly how they sound. Um, generally, we've done head cutters a lot in these workouts while we're in quarantine. Um, we've also done kettlebell or dumbbell swings while we're in, these in this quarantine. So we're gonna start with these head cutter swings, it's just as it sounds, it is a head cutter into a swing. So head cutter, bring this up into a full squat, up overhead, then hinging to a Russian or to an American swing, just like so. Then you'll come back into that head cutter, into that swing. So five of these, it's a good movement. It'll jack your heart rate up a little bit. Then we'll go into these 10 stagger stance deadlifts. That's five on either side. When I get into a stagger stance, I want to get into a general hip width apart power stance, what we do usually do with our deadlifts. And then I just want to take a little bit of a step forward with my right leg or my left leg. Remember, we're going to do five on each side. I like to line up the toe of my foot in the back with the heel of my foot in the front. So then with this, we're going to deadlift this up and hinge forward bringing it back. Notice I still have a slight bend in my legs with this. This is really gonna accentuate the hamstrings, which we'll also do with these Romanian delts. So five on one side, switching, same stance, toe to heel, five on the other side. You don't have to go all the way down to the floor because watch when I go all the way down to the floor, my back rounds a little bit. We want to avoid that. Just go to about mid shin or wherever you feel that nice stretch in the hamstring. Finally, we'll finish this off with 20 Kozak squats. Get nice and wide. We don't want to go so wide that we start caving in, but wide enough so that we can get as deep as we possibly can with these Kozak squats. So coming all the way over as deep as you can. Your chest can cave a little bit if it gets you a little deeper for these 20 Kozak squats. Finally, moving into this five minutes for tolerance, we have 12 seconds of kettlebell or dumbbell full cleans. With these, I want you to stay on one side with these full cleans for each one of your rounds, then switch to the other side for your next round. Um, this five minutes for tolerance, again, if you're in my class on Saturday, we'll set this up as a five minutes on the minute. <clears throat> so kettlebell, dumbbell full cleans, we're gonna start from the floor, bring it up, going into a full clean. Back to the floor, full clean. Just like so. With these, think about moving your body around the kettlebell. So you'll get that kettlebell nice and weightless and drop and pull yourself underneath. And then finally, Romanian deadlifts. Who knows the difference between regular deadlift and a Romanian deadlift? Okay. So I'll tell you. We're gonna first bring this up to this hang position and then our knees can be a little bit bent, but we wanna set our hips back as far as possible 
and we're not touching the ground. So hips back, all the way down to about mid shin, accentuating that hamstring stretch. As we bring it up, send our hips through at the top. That's really gonna work your hamstrings a little bit more than a regular deadlift. So that's the deal. I'm not gonna go over sit-ups. I think everybody's pretty good with those. Um, that's the deal. I will see you guys at 9.30 on Saturday. Otherwise, let us know if you need anything.